So I thought this week, um, I know you guys are dying to see pictures of the puppies and stuff like that and how they're growing and what's happening. And instead of pictures, I would give you a video so you sort of get an idea of the chaos in our household right now. This is um, our bedroom right now and you can see Hula on the bed, of course, overlooking the puppies. So here they are. Going to try and give you an idea of how active the Remember Me litter is. Hi ho! Hi ho! She never stops wagging her tail, Hula. And she's so good about her puppies, and she doesn't mind me handling them or doing whatever. So, these guys are getting extremely active. Not sure how long they're going to stay in the room. Probably only a day or so because they need to have a little bit more area to play than this. So I'm probably going to move them out to the outside puppy building, I'm guessing two days from now. They're playing, they're starting to walk, they're exploring. And they're getting really funny. I think this is one of the cutest ages. They're getting their legs, but they're not so good at walking. And they wrestle with each other and they like to be petted and There's our two patch boys having a little wrestle. I'm going after the only little girl. Hey guys. Now the little girl's trying to get one of the white boys going. As you can see, they're becoming quite the concern. Within a week or so, they're going to be really steady on their feet. This little boy here is just waking up. I don't know if you can tell, but the two white boys are quite different in color. This boy is quite tan in his coat. This little boy is a whiter color, but very dark on the ears. Here's boy number one. <laughs> he is funny. Yes. They're wagging their tails and they know when I'm in here.
So as you can see, they're all very chubby. They're doing great. They're growing. We should have some real action videos within a week or so. <laughs> but they are adorable. They're stalking each other. When I come in, they actually, they all wake up and they wag their tails and they look up and they, they wait. Meanwhile, there's mom here, right behind me. Hi, who? Who the? Who the going, yeah? What? Okay, so I'm going to go from these little tears. And I'm going to hopefully keep the video on. And I'll show you how far away the next litter is. So Ernie's sleeping in here with these guys for now. And I'm going to go up here. Open the door. And here, here's our parlor where Mart's pups are. Here's our kitchen, all that kind of stuff. There's Bachi. <laughs> Hi, Bachi. Father of Vid. Son of Ago. And here we got Murda in the other room. So she's in our parlor. This tiny little love seat thing is my bed for the last three weeks. I'm getting quite sick of it. So these guys are, oh, what are they? Nine days younger, I think, or something like that. And you'll see how much difference there is in the size. Tiny little guys, really. Hey, Mertz. Hi, Bertie Mertz. How's the babies? Uh, they're doing well though. They are going to be two weeks old on Tuesday. Here is a little boy. Whoop. And oh, oh, oh. <laughs> here we have another little boy, a little brown boy. They all have white on their bellies. And then we have, oh, take this one, this is another boy, whoop, stay still little buddy. I think these guys are all going to be solid brown, I think their white feet are going to roll out, maybe one won't. This here is boy number one, he's got the white patch on his back, and the white Puzzle. So here, sorry, bud. I'm gonna stay for a minute. Here's a little girl. Two little girls are very, very similar. <laughs> They're not taking kindly to me taking them away for dinner. This is the other little girl with a higher front leg on the one side. Great coats on these. Oh, I'm back with you again. My camera battery went dead. Do you got to show you the last couple? Is that okay, Mertz? Yeah, it's okay. Hey, bud. Okay, so here we have a little boy. I really hope he stays white with brown because his markings are to die for. But there's a possibility that he is going to turn roan. See the color of his little paws? And he's got a bit of grain on his toes. So I hope he stays white with brown because you know what? He will absolutely be beautiful. But he'll be beautiful as a roan too. And then this little boy here. Whoop. 
He's a chubby little guy. He has got one patch, a big patch on his right side, and he's got the small patch on the other side. Oh, he's mad because I just took him away from eating. But anyway, hey, little man, little man, little man. He is 100% going to be a dark roan. Um, you can see it on his face. Oh, sorry. Can't get it. He, he really wants to eat. So he's going to be, I'm guessing, very close to Murda's color. So, that's it for now. Thought you guys would love to see how the pups are doing and how the mums are doing and everything like that. Um, these guys are going to be just like the other litter in about six or seven days. And everybody's doing well. All both, all puppies from both litters are exactly the same size. That's great. Hey, Marty Mertz. Yes, you're a good girl, Mertz. Um, so I hope you enjoy, and I promise to send pictures later this week. Um, but for now, it's a video. I thought maybe you would like to see some of the other dogs. <laughs> By the way, right here, that's the puppy pen we'll be moving the puppies into, both litters. You can have two litters in the pen, that's one side of it. Is there other pen there? Here is my mom's house, the garden, here comes Botch, and let me see if I can call the rest. Here is Nachino, now Nachino is, Chi, I Chi, is a brother to... Um, Vid, dad of Murda's litter, and a, and a, and a, a son of, of Murda. Okay, and then we've got Molly, that's by Mario. Sorry, went too fast. And here is Grand Aunt Karamia. Amy, Guy, who <laughs> does not appear to have grown up whatsoever. So, anyways, that's it for this weekend. Um, I hope you enjoy.